ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas. I'm Hello again, Uncle Charles Longford back with another video to help you out with being in a long-term relationship, being a mar being married, being happily married, and I'm going to tell you techniques I've used to be happily married. A lot of times people will have a hard time explaining to you why they were married so long. They'll tell you something real simple, but in the reality of it is it was terrible advice because it's not advice about being married it's advice about just being a good person so they tell you how long you ask them how long have they been married oh, i've been married for 25 years oh what's what's the aspect of being married why are you how long have you how were you able to be married so long oh i'm just a good person that's basically what they're saying to you it's not enough not in this day and age it's not enough so i'm going to give you one of the best tips I've used, one of the best techniques I use to maintain being happily married. And that, again, and with this theme, is due to biology. Biology is why I'm still married and why this technique works. A lot of times, young men have a hard time, or men in general have a hard time understanding women. You know how you understand women? You just watch what they do and don't listen to what they say. <laughs> it will drive you nuts if you listen to what they say. Just Give them what they need, not what they say they want. All right, so what are you going to need for this? You're going to need a child. You're going to need a, a baby about the age of a toddler up, up until maybe 10 years old. 10 years old is probably the end. But you need a child. What you need to do, ultimately you need to do, is have that child laugh and be happy. If you can make that child and be happy, laugh and be happy, that's what you want. And why do you want that? Biology. Because you want that, you want that woman to hear a child's laughter. A child's laughter does something to a woman, biologically speaking. It gives her good, positive, uh, it gives her good, positive feels. Now, I'm not a psychologist and everything else. I don't know the buzz terms for this. I just know these techniques work. I've used this before. My friends have used this before. So let's, talk, let's go into it. What you need to do, take, a, take your, hopefully your child, maybe it's her child or what have you, or maybe it's somebody else's child, a family member's child, and play with that child and make them laugh, make them have a good time. And what you're ultimately doing, you're triggering her natural feminine response to want to have sex with you. That's what you're doing. When a, when a woman is turned on by a man, the bottom line is reproduction. That's the bottom line of all, all of it. Sexual, a sexual response or being turned on sexually is all about having children and the crazy thing that's happening this day and age where people say oh i don't want to have children and we're, we're a couple that is dual income no kids that man is about to go through a divorce in, in due time it's going to happen because you are not you are fighting biology and when you fight biology things go wrong so back to my point she wants to have sex with you because you are triggering a response to what, why she chose you. She chose you because you have shown that you can, one, have a child, that you are young enough to have a child. Two, you have the ability to provide a place where that child and she will be safe. When you are keeping her safe, that's a good thing. And then once that child is born, once she gets pregnant, once that child is born and that child is living safely, the next step is, should I have some more with him? Should I have some more? 
And that's what playing with that child is going to give you. It's telling her, ah, I should have more child, kids with him. Now, you may not want to have more kids. Maybe this is first and last, or maybe this is the last one because this is number five. <laughs> it's enough. Regardless, these, this play with this child is giving her all the biological triggers to want to have sex with you. You may be doing, you may have done other things right. Maybe you've done other things wrong to turn her on. But this is an absolute thing that will turn her on because she's a woman. The turn on is you look like you can take care of a baby or help her take care of a baby. She looks like she can have a baby and it looked like she can, can take care of a baby. That's, that's what, honestly, that's what sexual uh, attraction is all about. It's not anything else. It's all about the baby. And if you are playing with the baby and that baby's giggling, having a good time, it's, it's going to turn her on. It absolutely is. Now, let's go into the, the best technique for doing this. There is a right way, a wrong way, and a better way. The best way is roughhousing. Why is roughhousing the best way? Because you're doing something that she wouldn't do or can't do. You're throwing that child around better than what she could. And children love it. That's going to make them scream with glee and happiness and all the things you want because she needs to hear it. She needs to hear it. That's what's going to trigger it. It is not enough that that little child came to her and said, we had a good time with daddy. Or maybe grandpa. We had a good time with grandpa. Grandpa, uh, we, we threw, he threw me on the bed and I had so much fun. And blah, that's not enough. She needs to hear it. She needs to hear it. Even to the point, this has happened before, where mama come or grandma come and say, hey, you don't, don't, don't you hurt them. You, care, you be careful with them. Again, don't listen to what they say. Listen to their actions. Their actions will tell you everything. Later on, she's going, she's, she'll be ready for you. Later on, she'll, she'll be in the bed ready to go because of biology. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, mostly gentlemen, if you're not able to use this technique, uh, I'll have others for you. I hope, I hope this will help you out. If not, I'll have other techniques to actually help you get married, stay married, and enjoy being married. I'm Uncle Charles Wallingford. I'm just here to help.